Kenna. All right. Um, so uh, first, first thing, and you can follow along while I do this. I, I don't like to talk too loud because the microphone really picks me up on here. So if I talk too loud, it's like it's almost distorted. Um, we started um, yesterday um, doing the cube. I'm going to show you dimensions that I want, and I'll explain two ways on the cube today that you're going to make a hole. And we kind of got to it yesterday. Now, I'm going to go pretty fast. That's okay because you will be able to go back and watch the video. Um, all right, so just remember anytime that you start something, uh, sketch. I'm a big proponent of using the S button because that brings up the shortcut that I don't have to go back and forth. Uh, create a sketch, pick whatever plane you want. That's completely up to you. Um, I just always go at the top plane. I don't know why. That's just my preference. So I select that. Now you can see here it has the outline blue. That selects it. Um, one thing I didn't go through the first day, and I kind of always forget this because I just assume everyone knows this, but the wheel, if you have a mouse, of course, the wheel zooms in and out. And if you use two fingers on the mouse pad, that should zoom in and out, up and down. Okay? Um, one thing is I see people do this is wherever your cursor is at on this and you start zooming in, that's where it's going to zoom in too. Okay, like that, it doesn't zoom in. Um, it's only where your cursor is. So if I want to zoom in on a part, put your cursor there and zoom in. Okay. Um, now, uh, once you grab and pick a plane, I'm always a person I right click. I like to zoom um, to fit or um, view normal, sorry, view normal sketch plane. And it just brings the sketch plane that I'm working in where it needs to be. Um, so, ink or uh, oh shoot, I'm gonna see if this changes. Sorry, let me pause this for a second. So once you're looking at inches here, um, for the first one, it does not matter what uh, truly. Oh no, I'm froze. There we go. It doesn't really matter what you have two by two or four by four. It's the same thing, okay? Um, for the aspect of what we're doing here, two ways. Um, I'm going to show you two ways to to actually uh, dimension a tri or a square. So if I click right now, I click it, it highlights it up here. Okay, that means I'm ready to actually change the dimension of that. So if I put four and I hit return, now it puts my white box down here, which I can also make that four. That is an easy way to dimension if I'm looking at just making a square. Now, another way to do that would be like this. If I don't have those dimensions up here, this is called the dimension tool. If I click it, I can change whatever side I want. If I hover over a side, it'll turn yellow like that is right there. If I click it and go off of it and click, right now that's 5.6 and a whole bunch of numbers trailing inches. I can change that to 4. Now I'd have to do it same to both sides, and you can see. Now this is very important that you make these the right dimensions, especially when you get the pegboard. If you are trying to put a four by four peg in a three by three point nine by three point nine, it won't work. The program will basically tell you you're an idiot. So <laughs> know that if something doesn't work, sometimes it's an error that maybe you made. So once you have something drawn. Uh, you can then uh, finish that sketch. And we kind of got here yesterday. Here's the extrude button. You'll click that. I always look at stuff at an angle if I'm going to make it um, modeled. I don't like looking straight on, and this is why. Sometimes p people will click and click extrude and go and bring me over and go, Mr. Teske, look, it didn't work. Well, that's because you're not you're not looking at it right. It does work. Okay. So whatever you do, if it's two by two, I'm going to make this four because my last was four. Okay. Once I do that, it's finished. Okay. I have that square where I want it to be. Now, I don't like seeing these other planes. This is a preference of mine. Some people, it doesn't bother. Me, I hate seeing them. So I can go over here, right here, and if I click the little eye, it hides it. Um, I like to see stuff cleaner. So, um, again, you don't have to, 
I like to do that because now I'm looking at I don't have all these planes dissecting all over. All right. Um, right over here. If I go see if I just hover over top, I can click and it'll cover up the eye. It'll just, and if I want to bring it back, I just go over there and click it again. Okay. Two ways to make a hole. Um, the first way to make a hole is, um, I'm going to show you two different ways. The first one is I need to click, or sorry, I need to click sketch. And then, of course, the side I want to click, there it is. Okay. So the first way I'm going to make a hole. Um, I can make a circle, which if I just take my cursor and hover over this line and keep going, eventually something pops up right there. Okay, see that square that popped up? That's telling me right now I'm in the middle of that line. I'm one inch. All right, sorry, two, because I made it four. Okay, you see, the, I call them trailing ants. Those trailing ants tell me that I'm in the center. Now, I don't get another one because I have to just take my cursor and run over it. And then, boom, there it is. I'm in the center until there. Now I'm directly in the middle of that. Okay, that's a lot quicker than actually drawing the circle and, and dimensioning it. So if I click, I'm just going to make it one inch. Okay, I click it and then one. So that's telling me that right now that circle is one inch. Okay, I'm going to extrude that circle. Now we can just extrude it. Let's see what two looks like. Yeah, we'll do three. Okay, so there's three. And then there's one way to make a circle. Now, I'm going to show you another way. And, like, let's say if I was making a dice or making more than one hole, this works really well. So, again, I'm going to click Sketch, and I'm going to pick a different plane. There's my plane. All right, up here, there's this tool that's called the Point Tool. Okay, it's a little circle. So if I click point, again, I'm going to run down. There's my square. I need to get a square there. There. If I click this, it's going to make a little point. So if I look at this right there, see that point? I can make a hole now out of that. I have to finish my sketch. Whenever you draw something, you got to finish it. Finish sketch. I turn everything. There's that hole. And now I'm going to click this function right here, which is called the hole tool. Now, if I click it, you can see there's no hole there because I have to actually click on that. Okay. Now, that that makes a hole. That one doesn't go all the way through. Now, if I'm looking at this, I want to show you the different types of hole. The first one is countersink. And if you look at here, this would be the width. I could make this more. For example, I'm just going to make it 1.5 to show you. Um, and you can see a countersink hole. So that would be like if I'm drilling something into that and I want it to be flush with it even. Okay. Um, and I can make that go four inches, which would go through the whole thing. And if I check that, you can see. Now the other side won't be countersink because it's going out. Um, I can make what we call counter bore. Okay. So if I look at this, one inch, let's make this 1.5. And if you look at the little diagram there, it will tell me. And let's say I want it to go down one inch. So counter bore goes straight down. Okay. Um, and I can have that go all the way through. Or I can just do a simple hole, which is just a regular hole that goes all the way through it. Okay. Now, so looking at that, I'm going to finish that sketch, and now those are the two ways to make a hole. Um, if I cross on to another side, I'll just click on it, sketch first, and then I'm going to click on this side. So there I am. I'm going to take a circle. I, might, I want to put it halfway. If you know about where halfway is, I just highlight over it, and it'll get me there. Okay, I'm going to make this one too. All right, and I'm going to take that, finish it. Now I'm going to click Extrude, which is right here. I'm going to extrude that, but now instead of adding to it, I'm going to have you remove it. And if you click Remove, it'll go the other way, 
and I'll have you pull that in two inches and that will be finished. Okay, so you can see there to kind of give you an idea. This goes right into where the other ones cut through. Okay, and it's just um, complete. So that will wrap up how to make the cube and how to make different shapes. The last shape that I'll show you actually is going to be a triangle. So on my sketch, there's my side. Okay, if I go, there's two ways to make a triangle. You can go here. Um, sorry, you can go here and make a polygon. Um, but I always draw, I usually just go like this and draw a straight line. So if I make a line, let's make that one inch. Okay. I don't like my colors. I'll show you how to change that. Okay. And see what I'm doing there? I'm just making that, um, I want it to be even. So I'm going to say I make that one. Oops, I got to go like that. One. And now, if I make that, that should be one. And now I have a perfect triangle. Now, looking at this triangle, that's a one by one triangle. Now, let's say I have to dimension that. Um, I should have stayed in my sketch mode. Sorry, I'll click back. Um, anything you do will always be over here on this panel. So it's kind of nice. Uh, if I click dimension... Oh, that's not going to work. We'll dimension up and down first. If I click one side to the other, I sorry, I got to click dimension. This is how you dimension two things. I click one side and I click another. And to get that in the middle, I'd want it to be two. Um, oops, one and a half, sorry. 1.5. And now um, we'll be equidistant for each one. Now, if I want to do that the other way, I'd have to click this point and that side. Oh, great. That doesn't work. Oops. If you ever get stuck and something's not working, just hit escape. Seems to work. I know. That's why I want to get out of escape. I want to see if this works. This might not work. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then that would be 1.5. And now that's directly in the middle. And if I click extrude, I'd extrude that out. I'm just going to extrude it out two inches. So there's a way to make a triangle. Now you can do that with any shape you want. Um, another uh, tool that I'm not going to show on this, because I don't know if it'll work, but I can try, actually, is if I pick that sketch plane, this one... Um, Uh, actually, right here, if I finish this, if I click, this is called shell. And what shell does is it just shells out the inside. Now, as you can see, it, it still has those other parts, but it takes everything else out. So, um, and that's just another tool to show how to empty something out. So the shell drill actually, or the shell um, just makes it so it looks like that. So this would conclude everything. Um, we can actually do to a cube. So um, I will now upload this, and if there's any questions, I can answer them.